Hi guys, it's Miss Maddock here and today I will be talking about another cause of red eye, aposcleritis and scleritis. As you can see from this slide, there are many different causes of red eye. These include acute closure and glaucoma, infective and ophthalmitis, orbital cellulitis, trauma and the itises such as episcleritis, scleritis, iritis, and conjunctivitis. A red eye is caused by inflammation of the sclera. The sclera forms the posterior five sixths of the connective tissue of the globe, and the sclera also provides an attachment for the intraocular muscles to insert. The episclera lies directly underneath the conjunctiva and is the outermost layer of the sclera. It is important to distinguish between the two causes of a red sclera. These are scleritis and episcleritis. Episcleritis is much more common than scleritis. The episclera lies superficially and for this reason in episcleritis the vessels can be moved by a cotton bud. They will also branch when a certain drug, phenylephrine, is added. The scleral vessels in contrast will not move with a cotton bud and will not branch. Episcleritis will cause redness of the eye with mild or no discomfort and it is usually self-limited and not associated with any underlying systemic disease. Scleritis on the other hand can be very severe and in fact over 50% of scleritis cases are associated with underlying systemic disease. This includes rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. And patients often talk about a dull boring ache in the sclera and this pain is normally worse at night and ocular movements are also very painful as the extraocular muscles insert into the sclera. So scleritis will require urgent referral to ophthalmology and it is divided into anterior and posterior scleritis. So in ophthalmology they will look at these the different types of scleritis, is it anterior, is it posterior and there's also a necrotizing type of scleritis. Anterior scleritis may only require oil NSAIDs or, uh, and high dose prednisolone whereas posterior scleritis or necrotizing, necrotizing scleritis may require more aggressive therapy. And a complication of necrotizing scleritis is perforation of the sclera and therefore as you can imagine it's very important if you see scleritis to get prompt ophthalmology review. So that concludes my video. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button for more medical videos.